Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Hard Adults. After 3 months, I'm back with a new video for the Mermaid Month. And what a better way to do it with a special collab with my friends who I'm participating with. I could do the DIY, Electric Bunny, Jackie O, Enchanterion, Stefu Doll, Blue Color Art, and Dolly Pop. Last year, I made Alberto from the movie Luca for the unconventional Mermaid collab. And this year, I also decided to do something completely different. So I chose to do Bianca Barclay from the Netflix series Wednesday. If you guys have seen Wednesday, you will know that Bianca is a mermaid. Ultra, in this series they use the term siren, but honestly it doesn't matter since it's the same thing. Siren, mermaid, sirena, it's the same thing guys. I think so. Bianca has a very beautiful and unique design, which for my concept I decided to make her with the dress that she wore in the Raven Ball, since it has a more mermaid vibe. But to not make it so simple, I decided to add more mermaid details such as scales between other things. So, before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I apply new videos. And without further ado, let's get started. For my base doll, I decided to make a hybrid between the help of a Uma doll from Descendants and the body of Claudine from Monster High. And now that I remove her hair, I start to clean her face with pure acetone. I give her several passes with several cloths and thus make sure that it's completely clean. I did not clean the paint from the head since it was not necessary to do so. And this is what the head would look like on the new body. Normally a descendant head would be limp and bobbing on this type of body, but for some reason it has become completely fixed, which is a relief to me. Since I want the doll to have more memory features on her body, as I mentioned it in my concept, I decided to add a thing in the middle of the back as you can see in my drawing. So the first thing I will do is mark the point of the structure of the thing. To later make the hole with a drill. And yes, this is something very normal in this hobby. <laughs> With my holes already made, I will make the structure with copper wire, leaving it this way. Off camera, I sculpted the shape with wire epoxy, reminded as I wanted. I realized that Claudine's hands don't go well with this character, so I'm not gonna use them. Instead, I'm going to use this Laguna hand that I found in my stock box. Now I'm going to put them on her so she has a more mermaid look. Bianca's skin color complexion is more darker than my base doll, and to achieve that tone I will first paint her with the same color as the doll body, both on the back thing and on the hands. And after a sealer coat I apply several coats of dark brown pastel, so that the body gradually darkens. With blue pastel I will go only to the area of the joints, and thus give a touch of blush. And with that, I begin to paint and decorate the thing with acrylic paint as I decorated in my concept. Reminding this way. Of camera, I had decorated her with several dots of different shapes of blue and shiny paint to simulate that their scale on her body, and they came out of Bianca when she came into contact with the water. And I must say that the effect looks wonderful, especially on her legs. Her hands also have the same treatment looking like this on her body. Now with that, it's time to work on her face. With the head of the body and three coats of MSC already applied, I cover her head with more brown child pastor to further darken her skin. And since I'm drawing on a black face, I'm going to draw my baseline with a lighter pencil I made it like I did in my concept. I must say that this is the first black face that I repainted, and at first I was nervous, but when I got used to it, I continued drawing as always. And this is how my baseline has turned it out. Now with that, with brush draw of watercolor, I will fill the base color of her clear pupils. And with the same color, this time I will use it to make the outline of her makeup. With 
With a little of water, I define it so that the outline looks finer. After another coat, I apply darker chalk pasta to outline her face and lips. I apply a lighter brown to highlight certain areas as well as white pasta to blend it with other colors. Then I will touch up more her eyelines and makeup with watercolor pencils. Now I will start using my watercolors and acrylics on certain areas of her makeup. I found out that brushing white line on her lashes may have a more impact, and boy, does it do! For more impact, I decided also to pass a little white lines on her nose and lids. Now I will continue using more acrylics. I will also do the same finish that I did with her body so that it blends with it. Leaving it this way and it looks really good on her. Now with this glaze paint I will use it to pass the lines of her makeup. And I also use it on the scale of her face. Now with that I protect the white part of her eyes with gloss varnish. Matte varnish on the eyebrows to make them stand out more and several coats of glossy varnish on the lids to make them look wet. The makeup isn't quite finished yet, there is one detail missing. So with this fake pearl for makeup, I will use them for the final decorations. And this is how Bianca's face has turned it out. For my first repaint on a black face, it has been wonderful and very bright thanks to the glaze paint effect. Without a doubt, I'm obsessed with this makeup. For the hair, since you have it shaved, I'm just going to apply a layer of white glue all over the area of the head and then I'm going to glue the flocking, which consists on a tiny cost of strip of black yarn. When it's done completely dry, I'll go over it with a brush to remove the excess parts. Then with a pair of scissors, I'll even out the hair more. And to have a stronger section, I'm going to apply a layer of glue mixed with water. Leaving it like this. It's a simple style but it suits her very well. And with that, it's time to make her dress. As you can see, I have already drawn my powder and this is how it will look already so. For Bianca's dress, I use cotton fabric since it's more elastic and easy to work with. With the help of another monster high body, this is how the silhouette looks. Originally the dress on Wednesday is longer, but I decided to make it short since I did a beautiful paint job on those legs, and it would be a shame to cover them. Now with the help of this light blue sequence, I will make the main decoration of the dress. To achieve that, I'm going to sew them from bottom to top one by one in this way. Just as you saw. Now I will continue covering the dress. And this is how it turned it out. I spent 3 days sewing sequence, and seriously, it was very stressful. But at least I have a good result giving it a shiny effect and also made it look like scales. Hmm, I think that was the intention. And this is what the dress looks like on the doll's body. I glue it to make it figure look better, and I'm really glad I made it short. 
Since I have no idea what her shoes look like in the ball scene, I decided to use these from Ever After High which belong to Michelle Mermaid, and which go perfectly with the theme of the collab, and which I have repainted off camera so that the details stand out more, and boy, they do. Off camera I also did her accessories, which will be her amulet and her pearl earrings. And with that, Bianca Barclay is ready. Now let's see the final photos. It has been incredible to get out of my comfort zone again with this project, and even more so if I add my own details. And I can show you that this doll is a 50% hybrid and a 100% glaze paint. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching this video, like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and don't forget to follow me on my other social media as the harder Dolls. The link to my coffee page is in the description of the video, if you want to buy me a coffee I would really appreciate it. And of course, don't forget to check out all the other mermaid dolls in this collab. Each of these artists has done amazing, and I always decided to collaborate with one of them whenever the opportunity arises. That's all for today guys, my name is Eric and I'll see you next time, bye!